Hello, my name is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you'll help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorial, we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We use only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for current version of Joomla 6 and 5.4. At least, this is true on October 2025. In other series of video tutorials detected to working with Joomla 5.3 and Viewtermart 4, we developed online store. In this video review, we'll talk about Joomla 6 and 5.4. CMS Joomla 6 is a version of Joomla content management system, which was released on October 14, 2025. The main changes include automated update, a new built-in template, Cassiope Extended, an update to version mechanism, new field types, a backward compatibility plugin, and much more. In total, 276 different changes were made in Joomla 6 – new features, fixes, updates, and so on. In this video review, we'll talk about the biggest changes in Joomla 6 compared to version 5.3. Please note that Joomla 4 will not longer be supported as October 14, 2025, so it's time to seriously consider upgrading to version 5 or 6. According to Joomla's support plan, Joomla 5 will receive bug fixes and security fixes until October 13, 2026. Then it will receive security-only fixes until October 2027. Joomla 6 will receive bug fix and security fixes until October 17, 2028. Then it will receive security-only fixes until October 16, 2029. The first change is system requirements. Joomla 6 has increased a minimum system requirements for PHP, now it's 8.3, and Nginx, now it's 1.2.6. For more information on new system requirements, visit official website. I think the biggest update in Joomla 6 is automated update, version 6 and 5.4 added the ability to update the Joomla CMS itself completely automatically. Updates occur within a framework of minor versions, for example, from 6.0.0 to 6.0.1. Please note, any updates can ruin your website. I have been working with Joomla since around 2010. Based on my personal experience, I strongly recommend that you disable automatic update and use manual methods. The more third-party extensions are installed on the website, the greater the likelihood of problems occurring. However, if your website doesn't have any additional extensions installed, or they are very few and they are not important, or the website is not critical for you, then automatic updates can be quite useful. During slightly update Joomla 6 installation process, you will see a corresponding message and be able to disable automatic updates during the installation. Also in System, Joomla, Options, Automated Update tab, you can see automated update option, you can enable or disable it. Also here you can see last check data and you can select user groups to send emails when the update is done. In Joomla 6 we have new template, it's called Cassiopeia Extended. This is child 
template for Cassiopeia, it was added with advanced colors and font settings. Here on the website you can see new template, it's almost the same. You can change colors some, some colors here, some fonts here, but if we change the template to Cassiopeia default, the old one style and update the page, there won't be any significant changes, so just new. With new template you can change colors and font styles from the admin panel. The next change I want to show you is improving to the version system. Joomla already had a version system that allowed users to restore one of the previously saved, saved versions of the articles. For example, here our article, here we can see some versions. In Joomla 6 information from the fields, from these fields, from custom fields, has been added to versions. This means that now when restoring you will get information in the fields restored. New field types. As you can remember, in previous Joomla versions we already have fields. Now we have new two types added. Node and numbers. Let's see node. This is new type. Here we can add any text with tables, format and links, images and so on. And the other is number. With number you can also enable format as currency. And now let's see the example here in articles. Here in the fields we can see our new field node and our new field number. And on the website we can see this field cost. Here it is, with currency that we add in the field settings. A backward compatibility plugin called Behavior Backward Compatibility 6 were added in Joomla 6. Here it is. It can be found in system plugins. If you are using extensions that do not compatibility with the current Joomla coding standards, this plugin, when enabled, will ensure backward compatibility with the previous major versions Joomla 5. The previous version of Joomla already had such a plugin, but it ensures the compatibility with the older extension for the 5th version of CMS. Other changes. Language file catching has been added. This has positive effect on their loading speed. The tiny MSE Visual Text Editor has an update to version 8.0.1. We can see it here. That's what I'm talking about. Now, after manual activation of the user by administrator in the admin panel, the user will receive a corresponding notification. A new button for sending such notification has been added to the user's settings. The system language filter plugin has been updated. Here it is. Now, if the remove URL when language code option is enabled, there is no redirect for addresses in the default language. This is benefits for SEO. The plugin code has also been updated to improve its reliability. As for remove language code, let's see an example. Here is my website. This is language by default. Let's click, for example, on English. We can see here language by default. If you can see in left bottom corner, we have language prefix, but if we click we won't see any prefix here. Why? Because Joomla automatically redirected. So in 6 version there won't be any prefix and won't be any redirect. This is just for main language that's set up by default. The next change 
is considered to media. Now here we can display thumbnails for all file types. Previously we can see thumbnails just for images. We can show them and now we can see thumbnails also for, for example, for PDFs. Also we can see them and for other file types too. A CSS effect for smooth transparent between pages has been added to the Cassiopeia frontend template and Atom admin template for this one. Also, next change consider tags. As you remember, there are tags in Joomla. Here they are. Now in the content article, when you click a batch, you can choose tag and remove them. In previous versions, we can just add them. If you use random image module, here it is. Now it supports virus file types in addition to JPEG and include a new image type option. Here it is. Here you can specify which image types should be displayed separate by comma. The next change when the editing existing article in the front end, the alias field is now always displaying. Here in admin panel we can see alias field here and now it's displayed in front end. Now when you go to the content, articles, feature articles, you are automatically taken to content articles like this, but with feature articles filter out. Here it is. If you clean filters, you will go back to articles. And now like this. This is the same now. Also, there was cleaning up our data code and more than 200 other changes. Considering minimum changes in the terms of admin interface and site management logic, all video tutorials and instructions previously recorded for Joomla 4 and 5 are relevant for Joomla 6 and 5.4. As for Joomla 5.4, compared to version 6, there are fewer changes in 5.4, but there are some. For example, automatic update, like described for Joomla 6. Also, it was added compatibility plugin, as described for Joomla 6, and other changes in the code. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.